Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. As you get further into developing your presentation, it can be helpful to learn how to review and manage your slides. You might be surprised by some of the tools that PowerPoint has to offer, including ways to practice your presentation and take notes. This default view should be familiar to you. There's a place on the left to navigate your slides, and a place here to edit your presentation. This actually has a name, and it's called Normal View. It's one of four views that you can access using the buttons at the bottom of the PowerPoint window. The second view is Slide Sorter, where you'll find thumbnail versions of each slide in your presentation. Here, you can easily change the order of your slides just by dragging and dropping the thumbnails. Up next is Reading View. This fills most of your screen with a preview of your presentation, leaving room for navigation buttons here at the bottom. Finally, we have Slideshow View, which completely fills the screen with what the audience will see when you present. There's a helpful menu in the bottom left corner that will appear only when you move the mouse, giving you the ability to navigate your slides and access other features, like the pen and highlighter tools. Thinking ahead a bit, I'd like to start writing some notes about what I plan to say during my presentation. PowerPoint actually offers two different ways to do this. The first is in the Notes pane, located at the bottom of the screen. You might need to click the command here to make it appear. First, I'm going to click and drag the edge of the pane to make it a little bigger. Now we can click inside and start typing our notes for this slide. This is a great place to add ideas, talking points, or just little reminders for yourself. There's even a way to print these notes so you can refer to them later when you're presenting. The other way to view and enter notes can be found on the View tab. Just click the Notes page command, and you can focus on the notes for each slide one at a time. To navigate, use the arrow keys on your keyboard or the scroll bar on the right. You can also type your notes directly into the text box. And go ahead and zoom in if you need to here. In addition to the Notes tool, PowerPoint gives you a couple more ways to prepare and manage your slides. For example, if you've ever written an outline for something at work or school, you'll probably like this next feature. All you have to do is click the command that says Outline View, and the left pane will display an outline version of all the text in your slides. This makes it easy to review the contents of your presentation, and you can also fine tune the text from here if you need to. To exit this view, click the Normal command at the bottom of the window, or here on the View tab. The other thing I'd like to do at this point is organize my slides into sections, which can make them easier to navigate. In this example, we have sort of a two-part presentation. First there are dogs, and then there are cats and other pets. So I think I'd like to create a section for each. Select the slide where you want your first section to begin, then go to the Home tab, click the Section command, and choose Add Section from the menu. To name this section while it's still selected, click the command again, then go ahead and choose Rename. We're going to label this one Dogs to make it easy to tell the sections apart. Next, I'm going to repeat the process to create another section later in the presentation. It's going to start with this slide here. And it's going to be called Cats and Small Pets. Now we can collapse and expand the sections using the tiny arrows next to each section name. As you can see, sections are a great way to break up your presentation so you can display only the slides you're currently working with. Now you know several different ways to prepare and manage your slides. How you use these features is up to you, but they're bound to come in handy as you continue working in PowerPoint. Mm -hmm.